What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? This is the Oreo Monster welcoming you back to Logic.Band. If you haven't yet, type Logic.Band into your web browser, hit return, and when you land on the site, sign up for the mailing list to get a free Getting Started with Logic course. Today, I'm going to answer a quick question about how to use the Master Assistant in Ozone as a blind Logic user. So to do this, I got Ozone loaded up on my stereo output track in a project here in Logic. And if you're like me and you have Logic set to open all your plugins in Controls view. Button, collapsed, disk expanding button. Table, EQ, bypass, uncheck checkbox. You're going to see a table like this with all your parameters, but that's not what we need for what we're doing here. So I'm going to stop interacting with this table. Button, expanded, disclosed link, uncheck, check view, menu button. And VO left over to this view button. Once I VO space on this. Menu, two items. Check mark, controls. Isotope Coco Audio Unit View. You see Isotope Coco Audio Unit View. I'm going to VO space on this. Press Isotope Coco Audio Unit View. View, menu button. And this is going to show us the plugin in its non controlled view state. So if I VO right. Link, unchecked. 763,758 B7, A85, 44C, B71E, 62600358087, group. We're going to come up on this group. And I'm going to interact with this group. In 763,758 B7, A85, 44C, B71E, 62600358087, group. 10 items. Ozone. Plug in name edit box. Button. And VO right. Master Assistant. Button. Until I get to where it says Master Assistant, I'm going to VO space on this to activate it. Press Master Assistant. Dim. Button. All right. And now I'm going to stop interacting with this group. Out of 763,758 B7, A85, 44C, B71E, 62600358087, group. And if I jump to the bottom of this window with VO end, that's VO FN right arrow if you're on a laptop. Resize indicator button. We get resize indicator. I'm going to VO left one. BD8268 B2, ACDA, 4B13, 86DC, A104674880, group. And I'm going to interact with this group. In BD8268 B2, ACDA, 4B13, 86DC, A104674880, group. Eight items button. And if I navigate with VO right arrow. Button. Analog. Four stereo. Button. IO main window underscore bottom. Master assistant controls container. Group. You see master assistant controls container. So if I interact with this. In master assistant controls container. Group. Three items. Help. Button. Cancel. Button. Setup state container. Group. VO right until you get to the setup state container. Interact with that. In setup state container. Group. Four items. What are you going for? Dimmed. And now this is where we can pick some parameters that the master assistant is going to use to guide itself and coming up with some appropriate starting settings. Run assistant button. There's a run assistant button. We'll come back to this in a second. I'm going to VO right past that. Standard and advanced options container group. And we get to the standard and advanced options container. I'm going to interact with this. In standard and advanced options container group. Four items. Targeting mode container group. Character mode container standard and advanced group. So we got character mode container. Character mode container standard and advanced group. I just did a VO left so you could hear that first container since when we landed on it, you didn't hear it speak. So if I interact with this character mode container. In character mode container standard and advanced group. Six item modules. Dimmed. Creates a processing chain using non-vintage modules. Button. Now this creates a processing chain using none of the vintage modules. Now if you don't have Ozone Advanced, I don't think you get the Vintage EQ, Vintage Compressor, and Vintage Limiter. I believe those are only Ozone Advanced features, so you may not... Uh, have the option to pick here. Um, if I VO right. Dimmed. Creates a processing chain using vintage modules. Button. And this one gives you the option to create a processing chain that uses the vintage modules. So let's back up a second here. Dimmed. Creates a processing chain using non-vintage modules. Button. We're going to start with the non-vintage modules. I'm going to VO space on this. Press creates a processing chain using non-vintage modules. Button. Stop interacting. Out of character mode container standard and advanced. Group. And I'm going to VO right. Targeting mode container. Group. Targeted mode container. Let's interact with this one. In targeting mode container. Group. Six loudness and EQ. Dimmed. Dimmed. Determines the loudness target value based on an intensity selection. Button. This basically means it's going to play the project. It's going to analyze it. And then it's going to use its AI to determine an appropriate starting point for us. So if I VO right. Dimmed. Determines loudness and EQ curve targets based on the selected reference track. Button. Now this option gives us a chance to import a reference track and then it analyzes the reference track and uses that data to guide the starting points with the master assistant that it's going to give us. So I'm going to go back. First, we're going to use the first option. Dim. Determines the loudness target value based on an intensity selection button. So if I select this, once again, it's just going to listen to 
our audio and then make determinations using this AI as to what starting points we should start our mastering with. So I'm gonna video space on this option. Press determines the loudness target value based on an intensity selection button. Stop interacting. Auto targeting mode container, group. Intensity container, group. Intensity container, let's interact with this one. In intensity container, group. Sets the target loudness to minus 14 LUFs button. So this is where you can set your target loudness. So you have minus 14 LUFX. Dimmed. Sets the target loudness to minus 12 LUFs button. Minus 12 LUFX. Dimmed. Sets the target loudness to minus 11 LUFs button. And minus 11 LUFS. And LUFS is loudness unit full scale. Um, that is a loudness standard that takes into effect um, how we hear things as humans. So peak is generally just measuring how loud something is, but certain frequencies we hear louder than others, and peak doesn't take that into consideration. LUFS, loudness unit full scale, takes that into effect, and that's kind of the difference between peak and LUFS. So um, I believe there's something out there that tells you about where all the streaming services put it. So if you're planning to export to streaming services, you may want to use one of those as your target. I want to say minus 14 is probably going to be the best option to use for that. So let's go back and select that one. But like I said, do some research. There's a few different articles out there. Dimmed. Sets the dimmed. Sets the target intensity. Dimmed. Intensity. Dimmed. Sets the target. Dimmed. Sets the target loudness to minus 12 LUFs button. Dimmed. Sets the target loudness to minus 14 LUFs button. All right. So there we go. Minus 14. I found that. So I'm going to view a space. Press sets the target loudness to minus 14 LUFs button. And stop interacting. Out of intensity container. Group. Delivery mode container. Group. In delivery mode container, let's interact with this. In delivery mode destination, dimmed, dimmed. Sets the maximizer ceiling to minus 1.0 decibels button. So this will set the ceiling on the maximizer, and that basically means how loud the maximizer, which is the limiter in ozone, is gonna make your stuff. Now, ceiling means the loudest peak will never go over minus one. This is probably recommended for MP3s, AACs, any kind of format where data compression for the audio is gonna be used. Dimmed. Sets the maximizer ceiling to minus 0.3 decibels for lossless output formats button. And this one is probably going to be better if you're using, say, Waves, AIFF, etc. So we're going to go with this one for now. Press sets the maximizer ceiling to minus 0.3 decibels for lossless output formats button. All right, so we got that selected. Stop interacting. Out of delivery mode container, group. Delivery mode container, group. And once again, I'm going to stop interacting with this. Out of standard and advanced options container, group. And VO left. Run assistant button. And here we have run assistant. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the project and then I'm going to view space on run assistant and you'll hear it kind of make some changes in the background. And then once I kind of feel like it's done, I'll stop the playback and see what options we get there. So you might want to remember to play the loudest part of your project, the part of the song or whatever project you're working on that has the most amount of stuff going on at once. That's the part you want to play and let this analyze. So let's give this a listen. I'm going to view space on Run Assistant and then play the project. Press Run Assistant button. So there's no audible clue to when it was done other than assuming that it was done messing with stuff based on things not changing for a little bit. But that's kind of why I just let it play out for a little bit before stopping it. So now let's explore this window some more. So I'm going to view right. Task list box scroll view group. Accept processing button. So we have an accept processing button here. If I view left again. Task list box scroll view group. If I interact with this, we can see all the analyzing that it did. In task list box scroll view group. Seven items. Analyzing audio. Dimmed. Setting equalizer to adjust spectral balance. Dimmed. Analyzing dynamic range. Dimmed. Bypassing dynamics. No extreme dynamic range detected. Dimmed. So you see it bypassed the compressor there. I believe that's what the dynamic says. That's the compressor because it didn't feel like it was needed. Setting maximizer threshold to hit target loudness. Dimmed. Set the maximizer threshold. That's probably when you heard it jump up in volume. Analyzing maximizer frequency dependent gain reductions. Dimmed. Setting dynamic EQ to improve maximizer transparency. Dimmed. And then it enabled the dynamic EQ as well. 
Setting dynamic EQ to improve maximizer transparency. Dim. And that appears to be everything that it did. So I'm going to stop interacting Auto with task that. list box scroll view. Group. Accept processing button. And if we hit accept processing. Press accept processing button. We are back. Button. IO meter options button to the standard ozone window and you can go ahead you can switch over to controls view or navigate around this uh, view and make some changes if you want to continue to enhance the settings that it gave you so that's how you can use the master assistant now let's say we want to use the reference track option let's take a look at how to do that and this is also useful if you want to reset it or redo it again i'm just going to view left to the top here IO meter options button Oops, let me stop interacting with this. Auto BD 8268B2, ACDA, 4B13, 86DC, A104674820, group. All right, I'm out of that group. 8000, uncheck, checkbox, CC0C17763, link, uncheck, checkbox. Okay, I got back to the link checkbox, I'm going to view it right. 763758B7, A8D5, 4D4C, B7-1E, 626003-5F0587, group. Interact with the screw. In 763758B7, A85, 4D4C, B71E, 626003-5F0587, group. 10 items, ozone, plug in name edit box, button. And if I via right. Master assistant, button. You see master assistant. Press master assistant, dim, button. I just selected that, so now I'm going to stop interacting. Out of 763758B7, A85, 4D4C, B71E, 626003-5F0587, group. Jump to the bottom of this window again with VO end. Resize indicator, button. VO left one to the group just before this. BD 8268B2, ACDA, 4B13, 86DC, A104674820, group. Interact with this group. In BD 8268B2, ACDA, 4B13, 86DC, A104674820, group. Eight items, button. And now I'm going to navigate back over to the master assistant. Button. 920 button. Master assistant controls container, group. Here we go, interact with this. In master assistant controls container, group. Three items, help, button. And same deal. Let's go find where we can change some parameters. Cancel button. Set up state container group. Set up state container. Interact with that. In set up state container group. Four items. What are you going for? Dimmed. Run assistant button. Standard and advanced options container group. Yep. Go to here. In standard and advanced options container. Character mode container standard and advanced group. This time. In modules. Dimmed. Creates a processing chain using not dimmed. Creates a processing chain using vintage modules button. Let's use the vintage modules. Press creates a processing chain using vintage modules select button. Select that option. Out of character mode container standard and advanced. Group targeting mode container group. In target loudness and EQ. Dimmed. Dimmed. Determines the loudness target value based on an intensity selection button. Dimmed. Determines loudness and EQ curve targets based on the selected reference track button. So this time we're going to use reference tracks. I'm going to view a space on this. Press determines loudness and EQ curve targets based on the selected reference track button. And now when I stop interacting with this. Out of targeting mode container. Group. Targeting mode container. Group. See them all the way at the bottom here. So I got a VO left. Delivery mode container. Group. References container. Group. Go back to references container. Interact with that. In references container. Group. Two items. Load reference button. So we go to load reference. And this is going to pop up a standard macOS file dialog box where we can choose what file we want to use. So I'm going to view a space on this. Import list one item selected. My reference WAV group one of one. And this is in the folder where I usually put my reference files. But if it's not, just navigate to the folder that has your files. Now, you generally want to use WAV files if you can use uncompressed audio files whenever possible, whenever doing reference work. So my reference WAV group one of one. Let's select this. Text, column two of two, group, column one of two, stereo out, view, loading more reference wav, dim, one, more reference wav, references, pop up button. All right, so you see it has the reference loaded up here. Now, if you have multiple references loaded up, you can view a space on this. One, more reference wav, one, more reference wav. And select them from this pop up button, but I only have one, so I'm just going to hit escape on that. One, more reference wav, references, pop up button. And now I'm going to stop interacting with this. Out of references container, group, delivery mode container, group. And we can go to delivery mode. In delivery mode, destination, dimmed, dimmed. Sets the maximizer ceiling to minus 1.0 decibels, button. And this time we'll do minus 1.0, uh, which is what you probably want to use if you're going to a compressed audio format like MP3, AAC, etc. Press sets the maximizer ceiling to minus 1.0 decibels, button. Select that. Out of delivery mode container, group, targeting mode container, group. And we don't need targeting mode because we already selected that we wanted to use reference if I interact with this. In targeting mode, loudness and EQ. Dimmed. Dimmed. Determines the loudness target value based on an intensity selection button. You'll see this as the same setting from earlier where we selected. Dimmed. Determines loudness and EQ curve targets based on the selected reference track button. 
to reference track options. So I'm going to stop interacting with Auto this. Targeting mode container. Group. Auto standard and advanced options container. Group. And go out one more level. VLF. Run assistant button. I should have mentioned this the first time. This can get loud. So make sure when you're doing this in your projects that you don't have your monitors up too loud or your headphones up too loud because this can get loud sometimes when it sets the final value. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and VO space on run assistant and then hit play again. Press run assistant button. So uh, <laughs> be aware that when you use a reference track, if it's a really loud reference track, it can just blow up the volume on you. Task list box scroll view group. You can interact with this and look at what it did. In analyzing audio, dimmed. Setting vintage EQ to adjust tone, dimmed. Setting equalizer to adjust spectral balance, dimmed. Analyzing dynamic range, dimmed. Setting vintage comp to control dynamic range, dimmed. Setting vintage limiter threshold to add character, dimmed. Setting maximizer threshold to hit target loudness, dimmed. Setting maximizer threshold to hit target loudness, dimmed. There you have it. So now I'm going to stop interacting with this. Out of task list box scroll view. Accept processing button. And press accept processing button. Video space on accept process. That's how you can use the master assistant in Ozone with voiceover in Logic Pro. If you love content like this, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe both here on YouTube and to the email list found at logic.band and get yourself that free getting started with Logic course. If you want to support what I do here, please feel free to visit logic.band slash support. If you want to see more tips like this with specific plugins, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see. And as always, until next time, happy recording.